India and Greece are partnering against Turkey, China and Pakistan to start them once and for all, while the US is expanding its hands in the South China Sea against China. While speaking to the Greek media, Indian Major General G.D. Bakshi retired said that the military exercises between the Greek and the Indian navies must begin immediately. He also said in the past few years, the Pakistanis with the help of the Turks and Chinese are regrouping on joining forces. The Ankara has already sent troops to Libya, to Ashak and last but not least to Kashmir. Greece and India must cooperate and stop Ankara and Islamabad. Greece and India have a lot in common regarding their culture and history. They have both acquired close ties since ancient times. During the ancient period, Alexander the Great exported the Greek culture and civilization spanning as far as the modern-day India. Recently, the both countries are facing the same common enemies, the Turkey and Pakistan. India and the Greece had to work together in the field of intelligence as well as in the field of defense. India produces weapon systems that could help Greece. India and Greece also has to proceed with the joint training exercises. Exercises between the strong Greek and Indian navies must begin immediately to protect themselves. There is no doubt that Indian Navy is very strong. India had already conducted joint training exercises with US, Japan and Australian navies. Greece also has a strong navy. India must come to an again immediately. The retired major also said India knows about Turkey's constant provocations in Cyprus. The Turkey has to pay a heavy price for destabilizing the countries all over the world. We must make effective moves against Turkey. The Turkey cannot challenge India and Greece if we join forces. We have to make this clear, India should not tolerate this aggressive behavior from Turkey anymore. At the same time, Erdogan has exploited the refugee and migrant crisis for his benefit. He keeps sending thousands of people to Greece and Europe. On the other side, on January 23rd of 2021, the US Indo-Pacific Command has announced that the Theodore Roosevelt Carrier Strike Group entered the South China Sea on January 23rd to conduct routine operations. The carrier group consists of USS Theodore Roosevelt, guided missile cruiser USS Bunker Hill, destroyer squadron 23, and the Alec Berg as guided missile destroyers, the USS Russell and USS John Finn. This comes days after China has passed a law that gives power to its Coast Guard to fire on foreign vessels and demolish structures between in the disputed waters. The South China Sea Morning Post reported about this. So what do you think of Indian Major saying India and Greece should join forces against Turkey, China and Pakistan while the US is expanding its footprints in South China Sea against China? High resolution satellite imagery accessed by NDTV of India indicates that in addition to setting up a village more than 2 km within Bhutanese territory on the eastern periphery of the contested Doklam Plateau. China has built a road in the same area that stretches approximately 9 km inside Bhutanese territory. It is believed that this road could ultimately give the Chinese forces an alternative route to Zompleri Ridge, which the Indian Army had prevented Chinese forces from accessing in 2017 when the two sides faced off or standoff on Doklam Plateau. On that occasion, Chinese construction workers had attempted to access the ridge by extending their existing track near the Indian Army post at Dokla which lies on the boundary between Sikkim and Dokla. The soldiers of the Indian Army had then physically blocked the Chinese road construction workers on the grounds that access to the Jompalri Ridge Line, which lies further south, was unacceptable since it would allow Chinese forces a clear sight of Chicken Snake of India, 
the vulnerable narrow stretch land that links the northeast of India with the rest of the country. Now, three years later, Chinese construction workers working on a different axis have built a new road along the banks of Torsa River, which extends southwards from border between China and Bhutan. This lies less than 10 kilometers from the site of 2017 face-off between Indian and the Chinese forces, which lasted more than two months and was only resolved when Prime Minister of India, Mr. Modi, and President Xi Jinping of China met in Wuhan in April of 2018, where they agreed to de-escalate the tensions. Clear evidence of Chinese road and village construction on the eastern periphery of Doklam Plateau emerged, as we said in before video on Monday, when Shen Shiri, a senior producer with CGTN of China's state-sponsored media, showcased several images of a villages with several chalets by the side of the river in his tweet. The new images in this report contradicts a statement by the Bhutanese ambassador to New Delhi, Major General WhatsApp Namgyal, in a statement to NDT of India on November 19th, there is no Chinese village inside Bhutan. Asked whether the Bhutan and the China have reached an understanding of relearning the border in the contested area, the ambassador said he does not comment on border matters. He said, however, confirmed that the Bhutan and China were involved in border talks. Bhutan and China have been involved in border disputes for decades, according to Tenzing Lamsang, the editor of the Bhutanese. Contrary to the rhetoric in 2017 that India forced China to withdraw from the Doklam standoff site, the new images seems to indicate that Beijing's determination to make probes into the contested area continues with utter disregard to New Delhi and Thimphu's sentiments. For the Indian Army, any Chinese push southwards is bound to raise red flags. It is past time for India to call China out of its expansionism in Doklam by pointing out how it is encroaching on the territories of one of the world's smallest countries, says Brahma Chalani to NDTV. As Bhutan's de facto security guarantor, India cannot turn a blind eye to China's aggressive activities in Doklam, said Brahma Chalani. So what do you think of the new images supporting that Chinese army has intruded and encroached into Bhutanese which is giving more tense situations in the India-China border tension in the northwest of India. Will it escalate to a bigger war or sooner or later or it can be solved through talks?